Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for the month of August. This is for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. My readings are love readings. That's what I focus on. You can make it fit whatever way you want, but I focus on love. Okay? If it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. Again, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. This, this reading shouldn't be on anybody else's page, you know, channel. They can share it, but, you know, just saying. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Taurus, you may not be feeling stable at this time. You may be feeling a little unhappy about something. You could be dealing with some negative energies, whether that's you or somebody that you're dealing with. You could be dealing with a Leo, I'm not sure. But you may be, maybe you're just focused on your job. You know, I'm not sure. Okay, well, you're focused on your independence, perhaps. Um... You know, I feel like you guys are are becoming alive again. You know, so I feel, you know, these are generally love readings. But I'm not sure you guys are focused on love, especially by these first four cards. You Maybe you're just focused on your independence, your, your health, your well-being, yourself. You know? Maybe you're focused on your job, your career. Um... Planning. It feels like you may be planning. Ooh. Six of Cups reversed. Clinging to the past. What the hell are you clinging to in August in the past? That is something from your childhood. Clinging to some sort of memories from your childhood. Hmm. Something is out of whack in August. Reluctant to move on. Now, I'm not sure what that is. The Six of Swords is reluctant to move on. Staying in a situation that... Hmm, staying independent. Staying independent, perhaps. Working on your money. Working on your job. Working on your career. Working on your foundation. On your home. Oh my goodness. Now these two are mirroring each other. You could be dealing with another earth sign. Now, you're definitely not focused on, on love in August by the looks of things. Let me just get the rest of these cards real quick. Oh my God. So, Taurus, it looks as though, you know, you're probably not, you've lost your focus on love. Love is not the focus. It's like you're not concentrated on that. You're concentrated on your money. You're concentrated on your job. You're concentrated on yourself. It looks like you guys are coming out of a period of... I think you're coming out of a period of negativity, a period of holding on to the past. These are in the past position. I think that you're coming out of that period. Right now you're feeling really, really strong, okay? Strong in your own, in, in who you are. It's like, you know, I feel really good. Because this is coming out of rest, coming out of of recuperation you know it's, it's the four of swords reverse you're coming out of a situation where you've stayed for quite some time so i feel like this is a this is a month of really focusing on you standing up for yourself being proud i see a uh very a lot of independence here a lot of wisdom 
you may be feeling like I think you're seeing life through a new perspective whereas I feel it's like I don't need somebody to complete me I complete me I complete me you're focused on everything but love that's for damn sure that's what I see we're gonna get some clarifiers now what is the six of cups that's luckily that's in that's in the past now the six of cups reversed that's like that's still somebody clean maybe that's the past um, let's get a clarifier I don't want to guess I'm mmm now this could have something to do with a father or a husband or somebody in authority something that's out of your control Lack of faith. <laughs> There's sadness. There's sadness up here. And I don't know, I don't know what this is caused from. But there's sadness that goes all the way back to your childhood. It does. And you know, with all the eclipses that are happening, it's bringing up memories of the past to be released and this is still happening through August okay so I think that somebody is whew, sad and unhappy maybe maybe closed off a little bit from love because of these memories from the past trying to protect themselves because the emperor is very protective I think this has to do with a man I do I think this has to do with a man in from your past okay because we have we have two men here okay I think that this and this man whew, may have had a really negative influence on you because that's the negativity right there and I think that they have this man, whoever it is, whether it's a father or a husband or somebody in authority, whoever, could have been a teacher, could have been anybody, has made you feel a little cold towards love or opening your heart, whoever this man is. Now, the Hierophant reversed is, is lack of faith. Next to that emperor is, is anger. It's... it's uh, controlling so I, f I feel like you it's, there's something that goes all the way back to your childhood Taurus that's coming up this month in August causing a bit of negativity or sadness in your life but this is a, this is actually a going to allow whatever this is that's coming up for you to release it it may hurt initially it may be hurt you may be hurting during this time but you know you've heard this saying this too shall pass it will pass so I feel like this month there's some past memories with the six of cups reversed that are surfacing and causing some sadness irritability anger upset and lack of faith it's causing you to maybe shut yourself off from from love whatever this is but it could bring in a new opportunity so it's I know that's contradictory but I feel like they I mean the five of cups reverse is beginning to realize that there's a new opportunity so maybe maybe you're I'm gonna get one more Ooh, beautiful. So you guys are going through a rebirth. You are. In order to go through the rebirth, you have to truly, truly, truly deal with that, with those childhood memories, with the inner child. 
You have to deal with it. You do. For you to go through this rebirth. So I feel like you guys are going through some sort of renewal that hurts. That hurts. And I'm sorry to tell you that. Because I really don't want to be saying those words. But considering I'm a Taurus. But there is, there's a birth of something new. And you know what happens when you think of, okay, I think of a woman giving birth. It hurts. It hurts. There's pain before that birth. So there is going to be some pain that you go through. But what do you get at the end of that pain? A wonderful, wonderful reward. The best reward ever. So at the end of pain, there is a reward. So I think in August, there w or I don't know when, this is be, be, be being recorded on July 27th, there is going to be some pain that comes to the surface. It could go all the way back to your childhood. It could have to do with a father. could have to do with a husband. could have to do with a male in your life. I think it does have to do with a male. I think that it resurfaces, and you have to deal with it so that you can, you can get the reward you know, you can you can hold that bundle of joy, you know, that, that's coming, whatever it is, that birth, okay? So it's um yeah. So let's let's move on. Whew. It's teaching you compassion. It's bringing you abundance. And in the end, you're going to be wiser than ever before. And you are going to be looked up, looked up to. Okay? You're going to be looked up to after this birth. Okay? Whatever it is. Let's get some clarifiers over here. Next to this Queen of Swords that is reluctant to move on from something. She's cold. She's gone cold. Ah, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We, you know, it'd be our, we have Earth and Air. Okay, so I feel as though you know she's cold. She's cold because she's been dealing, or she has dealt with somebody who has hurt her. King of Swords reversed is a person who has hurt another person. This could be a bully. This could be abuse. Verbal, mental, physical, whatever. Abusive behavior. Which has made her cold and hard to love. Or, or unable to open up to love. She's defensive. So maybe you're on defensive because of your hurt. You're hurt. You could have a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that is coming into your life. And you're like, hey, back up. Back up. You hurt me before. Or I've been hurt by another man so badly. Well, I want more. I want more. I feel like you may not dare to open your heart because you have just restored control over your life from whoever this person is that has hurt you. Somebody has hurt you. You have restored control. You have freed yourself. This is freedom, the devil reverse. You have freed yourself from this toxic situation. Therefore, you may be turning away any opportunities for love. Because I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. I don't want to deal with anybody's ego. I don't want to fight. And I definitely don't want to deal with somebody who's just going to walk away. Therefore, I give up. I think you guys are giving up on love in August. It's not the focus. The focus is money. 
and job and, and, and finances and career and everything but love this month. Because there's something that happens over here that resurfaces some bad memories, some bad juju. Could go all the way back to your inner child even. Inner child. All the way to childhood or inner child that needs to that needs to heal. And it's caused from a man. I'm sorry. And this could be for a man or a woman. Or a woman, because we have this woman here, but I think it's caused from a man. I think it's from a authoritative figure. That has probably belittled you, Taurus. And now you have restored control. Somebody comes in to make you an offer and you're like, oh, but no, I just want to be happy. Thank you very much. I don't have any fight left. I don't have any fight left. I just don't. I've made up my mind. I can't deal with your confusion, Pisces. This isn't a game. It's not a game. I want the honest truth. There could be a message coming in from somebody and it may not be what you want to hear because you worked so hard to free yourself from whatever this is you've worked really 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 hard to free yourself you're doing great really good money's fantastic okay looks like that way to me with all these money cards because that's what you've been focusing on You've restored control. Now you get this message. And you don't know and, and you've you've got your guard up, you're on the defensive. And it makes you conflicted. It's like, oh no, my decision's already been made. I already gave up this fight, this person, I don't know who it is. This is a this is a this is a message that comes in that hurts. It hurts. It brings conflicts either to your mind usually because swords are mind. They're ideas. They're thoughts. They may, it may cause some conflicting thoughts when you receive this message. You're happy now. And holding on has been getting old. It's gotten old. It's no longer feasible. But there's still something that has it ended. The death is reversed. Something has it ended. Damn it. You're going to receive a message, Taurus. Oh. From a fool. <laughs> So this is a um, fresh start, new beginning. Perhaps somebody sees your beauty. They see your worth now. Somebody, you know, decides to decides they want a fresh start with you. They see your beauty and they communicate how they truly feel. They've been watching you. But be careful, because all is not as it seems. Is this person naive? Are they being impulsive? Are they being honest? This guy is usually pretty honest sometimes, most of the time. This person, whoever this person is that comes in, doesn't want to be alone anymore. Doesn't want to grow old alone. Has finally decided that they don't want to grow old alone, whoever this person is. They may see that you've stepped out of your shell or they're deciding to step out of their shell. Somebody is deciding to step outside of their shell and communicate and offer a fresh new start, a fresh, a new beginning. But I'm not sure that you will accept it with this Four of, 
Cups. Let's see. It hasn't ended yet because the death card is reversed. And I think in one of the last readings, the end of July, closure hadn't happened yet. I think. I can't remember. What is this Four of Cups with a death card? This is a lost opportunity, a missed opportunity. I want more. I want more. I can't. I can't be playing games with people. Put it that way. Oh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio may have really good intentions. This person may have good intentions and they have love to offer you. It's not over yet. Something isn't over. It hasn't ended. They haven't released. And maybe they want to communicate. They want to come out of hiding. Somebody wants to come out of hiding. Now, I don't know who this is. Could be you. I don't know. But they may lack courage, or they did lack courage. Somebody was lacking courage, lacking confidence, lacking strength, acting cowardly. But they may not be able to restrain themselves any longer. They may decide to take a leap of faith. Eh. They see things from a new perspective, whoever this person is. Somebody is seeing something from a new perspective, whether it's you or there's whoever, whatever. Somebody is seeing something from a new perspective and willing to take the chance, take a chance. But I don't know if you are. I think that's the other person. But how will Taurus re react? Well, it's all up to you, right? Because we're all different people. Hmm. This may not be the golden opportunity I'm looking for. It may not be. This may not, you know, be something solid enough for me. I'm looking, and you know, with us, with Taurus, we want something solid. So, you know, I, if you aren't giving me something solid, then I don't think I can take it. Is this false? Is it? Is it? It's. Is you come in to sweep me off my feet with with no ring? You come in to sweep me off my feet with no follow through? Don't bother. Don't bother. hard work pays off somebody's been working hard this person's been working hard been working hard they may want a second chance but you may be a little bit too cold to let them in There's, there may not be any chances left now are we doing a freaking repeat for the end of July or what judgment Reversed. Hmm. I don't have faith in this. There's no faith. I doubt this will work. I doubt it will work. I understand you've worked really hard. But damn. I can't I can't go through that again. <laughs> Shit. No. This, there's too much. There's too much drama involved here. There's too much worry. I don't want to be worried. I don't want to be paranoid. I can't live like this. Message of love. Is somebody going to offer Taurus a message of, of love? I have my love to offer you. I've worked really hard. I'd like another chance. I'm telling you the truth. You may be receiving communication from somebody, Taurus, who who wants another chance. That Hopefully this is somebody new. Let's talk about this, please, God. We gotta talk about this. We need somebody, we need to do. There's been too much worry. There's been too much stress already. I'm not sure I can do this. I mean, look at her. I'm not sure I can go back to this. I really don't think, I don't know. 
somebody's charging in, Taurus. Somebody's charging in to tell you what they got to say. You know, they're coming in to speak their mind. They are. Somebody's coming in quick in August. When they come, it's going to be fast. And they're going to communicate. You're going to receive some communication from somebody. There's absolutely no doubt about it. And it is re in regards to love. Whether this is somebody new or not, I can't say. Somebody sees your beauty. I think that they, there's... Oh God. There, you're going to have to choose. Do I? What do I do? Do I go back or do I move forward? Do I? That's your choice right there. Two of Wands. Do you do what are you gonna do? You're gonna have to make a choice, Doris. What are you gonna do? This is about a partnership, okay? What where are you gonna focus your energy? You're gonna move forward, or you're gonna go backwards. What are you gonna do? You have a choice to make. You're gonna receive communication from somebody. Do you be cold and bitter or do you open your heart? That I mean you gotta look at these cards in so many ways. You're gonna receive communication from somebody. Do you open your heart or do you be cold and bitter? What way are you gonna what are you gonna do? You have to make a decision. Do you want love or not? Do you wanna let this opportunity go or do you wanna do you wanna accept it? Maybe you needed to go through this period of rest to gain some wisdom. I don't know. There is going to be a message that is coming in, Doris, for you. Okay? It's probably from a water sign, an earth sign or an air sign. That's what I see. Somebody has been waiting for the perfect moment. They've been watching you. They were trying to gain the courage, the confidence, and the strength to do it. I think the time has come. Let's get a, an oracle card. Oh dear. I don't even know if I zoomed this in. I couldn't find my black tablecloth. I don't know where it is. That's what I wanted to put on here. Oh well. I'll find it for next one. I'll buy another one. Anyway, Taurus, you're going to be receiving a message. Somebody's going to come in very, very quickly to tell you how they really feel. You're going to have to make a decision whether you know you want to be cold and bitter or you wanna let or you wanna open your heart to them. <laughs> cold and bitter. Well, you know, when you've been hurt, like I see that you have, I mean, what the hell? I can see why you would be. Especially if you're dealing with somebody that was verbally, mentally, or emotionally abusive with that King of Swords reversed. You were dealing with a man, I believe. It could be a woman, because we have women here that, you know, didn't see your worth. And I feel as though the time has come that this person is going to come out of hiding and, you know, speak up. Oh, son of a gun. Ugh. Why? Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Now, I have to tell you, this someone from your past could be somebody from a past life. It could be. Doesn't have to be the person that you slept with, your ex, whatever. This could be somebody that you dated or you an acquaintance. It could be. Could be an ex. It could be. Just saying. And on the bottom of the deck. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Again, this could be the same person. Even if it is an ex, it could be. Because when you go back, the love starts over. It could go either way. You know, you, you take it however you want it. I feel as though there's an opportunity where somebody is coming in to finally speak up how they truly feel about you. Whether this, and this is somebody who's been watching you. I think this is somebody that you know. Okay, I do. I think this is somebody that you know. Whether you've been with them before or not, I do believe this is somebody that you know. Whether you let them in or not, the choice is yours. We're going to get one more card just because. Just because that's what I like to do. Of course. Release. Have a good cry. Grief is a doorway to your deepest self. And you're going to have a good cry over here. You are. Something to do with your childhood or your inner child or abandonment. Abandonment is going to make you cry. 
let it happen so that you can release and that you if you you know so that you can open your heart whatever that's my message talk to you later